Well, so does our sky. Nice and blue out here on our Midland Premier Fence Sky Cam, and that's the best way to start off the week. Nice clear skies, pretty dry. Uh, it's winter time. Almost technically the 21st is the first day of winter, but it's normally dry out here in West Texas. East southeasterly winds pretty calm, just 10 miles an hour. I do have nice high pressure sitting right on top of us, and that's leaving us nice and clear in terms of cloud cover as well as rain chances. But I'm starting to notice a lot more moisture trying to funnel its way in from the west. That's going to be ahead of our next larger scale system as it begins to push on through. But because it's going to stay relatively clear tonight, I do have temperatures getting down into those upper 30s, lower 40s. Pretty similar to what we've been seeing over the last few nights, although certainly above average for this time of year. But there is going to be something changing about this, and it's more so the fact that we have those winds coming from the southeast. That's going to pull in a little bit more moisture into our region, increasing our cloud cover and therefore increasing our overall temperatures. We should be at about 33 for our overnight lows. We're in the upper 30s, lower 40s. As you're heading back home, well, we're getting up to about a pretty comfortable 62 degrees. Strong southerly winds gusting up to about 25, maybe even 30 miles an hour. Not enough to really kick up any significant dust, but it's enough to bring in some more heavier cloud cover throughout much of the day. The best part about this is that it's just going to be cloud cover. I don't have any kind of rain in the forecast for your early morning commute and even heading back home. Decently mild, a little breezy here and there. Just if you're driving by the airport, maybe have those two hands on the wheel just to correct anything. Thing. But beyond that, I don't have a ton of activity going on until we get later in the week. That's why we have the future track models. <laughs> yeah, I do start to see nothing going on on Wednesday, but going into Thursday. Yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit of stuff. Uh, just very small chances for some showers going into early Thursday morning that moves out. And then I start to see a little bit trying to sneak its way into Fort Stockton, Big Lake, Ozona. That's going to be right around noon on Friday. Again, very small chances, but then the bigger rain days I look to see taking place on Saturday, but then quickly moves back out. Any winter precipitation? No, 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 no. That's staying out of our picture. That's going to be more so central New Mexico more than anywhere else. So how much rain can we really expect? A very disappointing amount, maybe a few hundreds, maybe a few, maybe a tenth or so of an inch. That's going to be about it. The majority of this stuff is going to be situated more so along the I-35, I-45 corridor along central and, of course, much of East Texas. Christmas is coming up a lot faster than you think a week away. So Christmas Eve, what are we looking at? Well, other than looking at Santa poor Santa getting stuck in the chimney, we should get down to about 40 degrees. That'll put you in the Christmas spirit. What about your nine day forecast? Very mild, slight chance of showers toward the end of the week. Heading into your holiday weekend, it looks pretty nice. Cooling down by early next week. Jolina? It's looking like